Hey guys, this is Dan again. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today, right now is Sunday evening, uh, the night before Marathon Monday in Boston here uh, on Patriots Day. And I'm giving you a quick pre uh, update on my tank. So the only thing that is different in the tank uh, so far since my last uh, post is this live coral rock. So a couple of days ago, I went to my FFS and he showed me this uh, coral that he just got. And at the time when I saw it, it was really covered with this uh, purple polyps all over the coral and it looked really nice. Uh, and I didn't uh, pick it up at that time when I saw it because I was at work. And Two days later, when I came back, which is on Saturday, wait, yesterday, which is yesterday, uh, I went back to try to get it from him because he said it was like $75 and I thought it'd be a nice addition to my tank in the back there. Uh, but when I got there, the purple polyps, most of them are, were gone. And he explained to me that he had a tank crash that like the night before where his filter didn't work and his lighting system went out. And when he came in to work, this thing fell apart and most of the purple polyps like disintegrated. And he said he would give me that rock for free and that uh, most likely in a couple of weeks, it will stabilize and hopefully the purple polyps will come back. So uh, he assured me that it won't damage my tank in any way <laughs> so I'm taking a chance as well uh, hopefully it will come back to life with the purple polyps you know growing back to a normal or slowly growing back I don't mind taking you know the time for it to grow back but hopefully it'll grow back because uh, from what I saw when it had it, it was really beautiful and so the, the update my tank is that my clownfish I had five originally and I didn't tell you guys this before, but one of them, uh, I guess it got startled by uh, too many fish in there and it jumped out of the tank like about over a month ago and it got dried up in the back of the tank. And so I was left with four clownfish. And then about three weeks ago, uh, this little clownfish here, uh, got picked on by the biggest clownfish. So they were all pretty much the same size when I got it, but one of them became very large. Uh, let me see where he is. Like He's at the center there. He was pretty big and he kept, no, I'm sorry, this one here, not that center. This one here, the darker one. This one became larger than the other three and he just started picking on this little guy. He started bullying on this little guy and uh, about three weeks ago, he picked on him so much that you see the fin, the dorsal fin, and the bottom, the tail. The, the black lining was disappeared. Like, he bit on him so much that he was on laying on his side. And I got worried, thinking that it may die uh, eventually. So I put it into this wonton soup container, uh, the one with the hose, the inside one. And it healed and then like a week later it healed so I decided to put it back in the tank but as soon as I released it this big bully this guy here the big bully came back and started biting him again so I decided to reverse the lockup so I locked this guy up in the soup container for like three days and I finally released it today and he seemed to leave that guy that little guy alone but he's still kind of frazzled and like keep hiding up there uh, so hopefully they'll be friends again and uh, they all live to become adults uh, the other update might take is that all the other fish have become larger uh, I can see the growth sprouting uh, the cardinals are much bigger than when I first got it the uh, Dory Tang, the hippo tang here, they both become very big because their appetite is, is voracious. They kept eating every time I feed them. Uh, the yellow wrasse is big too, and especially the OG Blenny. 
he is a big fat bunny now <laughs> from when I first got it. Uh, the feather dust is really nice. It's hiding right now for some odd reason. It's always flowing around, show its pretty feathers. The cluster duster here, uh, one of them broke off while I was cleaning the tank, so he's there. And the other one that that's broke off is underneath here. The orange shoot anthids have sprouted a lot, so there's a lot more heads all over, and it looks beautiful. Uh, when I got them, there was only three or four heads. Now there's so many. Uh, the other thing that kind of worried me is the torch coral. It hasn't come out like it usually did when I first got it. Uh, and there's this big growth on the side. Uh, I took it out and tried to look at it and it's kind of hard, like it's calcified, like some kind of calcium growth. I don't know what that means, uh, but hopefully those green tips will become, no, will, will no, come out again like it did. Uh, so one of the clownfish called the green star polyps, it uh, hosts the green star polyps. Even though the pink, the rose bubble tip is here and the pink bubble tip is there, um, they go in there once in the blue moon, but they haven't, none of them, none of the four clownfish in there actually permanently uh, go in there uh, on a regular basis. Uh, but this little guy here, he goes and like dive into the green star polyps every day. Like he, it's like he wouldn't leave that spot for a very long time. He would leave it and then just rush back to it and start diving into those tentacles right away. And it almost seems like from what I read, this little guy here most likely is the alpha male. And this, the big guy is the female that, that's turning to become a female. So this is most likely going to be a pair. These two are here, most likely going to become a pair uh, because they're always constantly closer to each other, but they don't fight, which is a good sign. Uh, this button polyps is really nice. It's, it's grown bigger. The, the discs have become larger. I've fed it. Uh, I tried to vary its diet and got some uh, coral gumbo yesterday. <laughs> and also I got baby brine shrimp to feed these corals. And the sun coral is doing really well. Uh, the nasal tang is growing as, as well. He's always hiding, like he doesn't, he's pretty shy. Like whenever he gets afraid, he becomes dark or white with white, uh, with white spots on it. It's, it's really weird, but I kind of like him with the, the gray color tone that should be normal. Uh, but he's always hiding. And he does come out when it's when it's feeding time. So that's a good sign. So I realized from uh, reading online that I shouldn't have had too many tanks in the in the this small tank here. This one is actually advertised as a 65 gallon, but the living area for the fish is 54 gallon. The 11 gallon they advertise is part of the sump, which is at the bottom there. Uh, and at the pace that it's uh, the tank uh, growing, I'm afraid I might need to upgrade the tank soon. And I was thinking of, um, this is my place here in, in the condo. Uh, I just got this exercise machine because uh, I haven't gone to the gym since I started working. So I had to get myself back into shape. So I have this little nook here that I was thinking of putting this big painting in storage uh, and then move the furniture around and I think I could fit like a few hundred gallon tank here like either like um, a three or four hundred gallon tank uh, if I decide to use this spot for a new tank and also I was going to show you guys like uh, I live in the city here in Boston and I have a private roof deck here. Uh, it's kind of nasty weather out there, but I'm going to go out there anyway to show you the view of Boston. Um, let me see the door. It's raining a bit, but tomorrow's going to be the marathon, which is going to be bad for the runners because it will be the same tomorrow when it's raining and wet. So right now, this is Boston. The view 
it was not that great because of the rain. But I'll show you guys once uh, the weather gets better. Uh, that one is the Boston Prudential building. Uh, the there. There's a new building coming up. It's the Four Seasons Residences. And that's going to come up soon. And that's the John Mocop Tower. So this is a little view of Boston for you guys. Okay guys, I just got downstairs from being up on the roof and um, I'll give you more details on my tank as they uh, grow up, now the fish will grow bigger and also uh, when I add more stuff to it and I'll show you this, the uh, more of Boston in my later videos when it's nice out. Uh, so thanks guys for watching and please subscribe if you like my channel. Have a good night. Bye.